we're going to be having a look at installing config pages and creating custom config. We're going to learn what is the config pages module for. We're going to install it. We're going to create a config page with two fields and we're going to have a look at its permissions. So the config pages is basically a module that enables you to have custom configuration in your Drupal web page. And this custom configuration could consist of, for example, in your footer you have a title and short text. And rather than creating a whole content type just for that, you could basically create a config page with the two fields and it would be much simpler like that. So let's go ahead and install the config pages module. So we're copying this bit from here and we have a Drupal instance here and let's jump to its terminal and change and composer require Drupal and the name of the module in order to download it. That's perfect. So now let's go ahead and install the config pages module. Let's see. Config pages, there we go. And after it's installed, we can simply go to the structure page. And from the structure page, we see that now we have a config pages link. So here we see all the listed config pages, if we have some. And under config pages settings, we could basically add new ones. So let's create a config page and let's call it custom config. And let's add here a new one. Let's call it admin custom config prefixing having admin in the path is enabling us to have the config page opening from the admin team like this so we're saving it and we have here the custom config let's go ahead and manage fields this way we could add two fields so we're going to add a title and a body for the footer so let's go ahead and add the field we're going to add a text plane so we say footer title and we're saving it that's perfectly fine like this and we're going to add a new one and it's going to be a plain text long and it's going to be called footer text there we go we're saving it with the default settings it's completely fine and if you already saw, basically here already appeared a custom config menu item. So if we click it, we basically see the page with the footer title. So our custom footer title, our custom footer text, something that we could use and as we save it now basically later we could simply print it in the footer because it's a footer title and text so something that we don't have to create a content type for or some other unlogical 
structure in order to store just those two values we can just do it by using the config pages and as we just created a new config page if we now go to people and permissions for the custom config page that we just created it's called custom config if you remember there it is it just created a dynamic permission just for this page for example if you have different types of users if you want some of them to be able to edit this setting and others not to be able to edit this setting you just set the permission and you're good to go perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching